So what might the next battle, or the act of preventing one, actually look like? Picture a crisis in 2035. A US Space Force sensor network of hundreds of small sat constellations spots three hypersonic launches over Siberia. Within 15 seconds, AI-driven algorithms on classified Project Overmatch servers fuse data with polar radar tracks, producing a target file for interceptors and a strike recommendation for the National Command Authority. Simultaneously, a B-21 formation already airborne on a dynamic force employment sortie receives encrypted retargeting over Evolve Strategic SATCOM. Underwater, two Columbia-class boats shift patrol boxes after receiving a burst message via very low frequency buoy. Deep in Montana, Sentinel crews load new targeting packages pushed from cloud-native fire control systems hardened against quantum hacking. Will any of those weapons actually leave their launchers? Deterrence banking on uncertainty says no, but only if each piece works as advertised. And that is why, behind every line of code and every well bead on a Columbia hull, the United States invests staggering sums, because credibility in nuclear deterrence is measured in probabilities of survival, not just body counts of warheads. Land-based sentinels threaten instant response. Submerged Columbias lurk undetected, ready for a devastating second strike. Stealth bombers offer visible, recallable proof of resolve. Above them all, a sprawling NC-3 web knits the triad together at nearly the speed of light. Across the horizon, Russia feels maneuvering hypersonics, and China doubles its arsenal in a decade, forcing Washington to modernize faster than at any time since the Reagan buildup.